Hi there, some of you may be interested in how I made the Christmas ornament. First thing you do is you take a, just a piece of wood. This is not the best wood, I'm so sorry to say, but um, it's uh, just some plywood from Home Depot and I put shellac on it or either a natural product like beeswax. Um, um, and then you cover it with masking tape. That prevents the edges from burning. You cover, in this case, I'm going to cover, I just needed to cover one side because I'm just lazing one side. You put that on, make sure you get all the, the, the uh, air bubbles out with a little squeegee. And then we take the wood into the lab, pass the 3D printer, making some robots. And we take it over here to our laser cutter. Something like that. I like to put a, a mass on it so it doesn't move around. It stays nice and flat. The design is done on the computer and the different colors are the different layers and the different layers have different settings for the laser, the power and the speed um, and the order matters because if you cut out the the outside rim first then that middle piece falls away and you can't do any etching so you do the etching first and then you cut away these little blue spaces and then you cut out the, the snowflake and then you cut out these guys here and then you cut out the big thing. Anyway that gets downloaded which feeds along that blue wire there into the back of the machine and it loads up here ready for printing and the first thing I'll do is I'll focus the laser this is an autofocus feature Just the laser head pushes down and it comes back 27 millimeters from the surface and Make sure we've got the right file in there. And then we'll frame it out to make sure it's going to fit on the board. Oops. Forgot to set the origin. Okay. So that should work fine. Close the lid. Turn on this switch, which is going to turn on our air compressor and our fan and our chiller for the laser to keep it cool. And then we'll just press the start button and watch it do its magic. almost done etching and so now it's cutting it's cutting these pieces actually out of the wood the words are just etched into the surface so this is a 100 watt laser So if it hits your skin, it would go right through it. It's going through the wood. We can etch into 
um, just about anything and we can cut anything really but metal and glass. We needed a bit more powerful laser to do to cut metal and glass. And for safety reasons, the lid here has to be closed. There's a little magnetic sensor here. If it's not activated, then it won't laze. So it's almost done. The snowflake falls through to the bottom. And here are the stands, and then we'll cut out the, the card. Done. We can turn off the chiller, the fan, open up the lid. Grab the ornament. There's also a little drawer you can open. You don't have to reach down into here to grab these. But these are the pieces down below that get, that fall off. If we had scratch and sniff technology, you can smell the wood burning. And then, I don't know how I'm going to do this with one hand. Oh, I forgot the snowflake. But then you take off the mask. Just peel it away. Oh, that didn't work very well. This was just a a dummy run here just so y'all could see the video but then you just got you just got pure wood I applied the mask last night my phone ran out of a battery so I couldn't take the video then and I think maybe the the mask didn't stick overnight anyway you peel it off and then you put it up on the tree anyway that's how it's made I hope y'all enjoyed that and um, take care